Hello, and welcome to another video for Citadel. Um, a couple of days ago I did a video showing off my first build um, in Citadel Forge with Fire. Um, oh, this is this is a rebuild, so um, this is a work in progress. This is version 2. It is a work in progress, isn't it? It's obviously more... St probably it's a lot of space inside to do stuff with, but... Um, this is on the same location I had the original house you saw before. Um, most of the internal stuff, well, a lot of the internal stuff I did. I mean, Stumpy started off the build with this part on the left. I did all the, the pretty stuff from the towers. I did the win threw some windows in and did all the living area stuff in the middle. So basically, we'll have a look around this one. So um, everything has just been moved over to stone. It's looking a bit more like a castle now. Um, I do like the stairs. I mean, I, I unlocked, got level 25 to get the stone stairs up later today and I just just finished changing all the insides from wood to s stone. Now these stairs here, these the stone stairs have got much more choice so other than just the straight ones and the ones, the corner ones, you've actually got these curved ones as well and also spiral ones. I'm not going to start in the front door, though. we'll start here. So basically we'll start on this side and we've got these two big like garages, which is where we put mounts. Um, oh, hello, Jock. Uh, this is Stompy's bird. Idea being that um, when we get a, um, you know, tamer mount, put him in here, like a, uh, a fly mount. Eagles is what I've had at the moment, not high enough to get a, um, to actually pick up a dragon. Um, so yeah, so put them in here. So idea being that when their tame score runs out, they they can't leave. Um, I've done it a couple of times. What normally happens is when it is when they run out, sometimes they actually disappear and fade. But other times, if you log in after the scroll's done, he'll be in here and just walk in the room and he'll be kind of aggressive and you just can retame him. So this was Stumpy's bird. Um, the the pen next door is where mine is, but he's obviously not here at the moment because he died earlier on. Yeah, this is a picture. This right here is a picture of him that I took for prosperity. He lost for he he actually got four levels with me, and um, he lasted days, days. All right, so we come to the main house proper here. So as, as you come in, you got some stairs here um, moving up to the uh, main reception area. So this is obviously the front door, um, as you can see. As you come in, you got a respawn stone just here. Um, quite high walls here. Um, respawn stone here. So we've got this exit out here to the, um, which is where the I had a little porch out here, which is where you landed with the broom. But I've not put that back yet. There's nothing out there yet. But the doors there, just in case. Um, so we come through this side first. And this, this basically on the left here. This is the work area, the crafting area. Um, there's still lots of room here. Still probably lots of stuff. We can actually put down at a later date. So we've got these big wide arches. The first area we've got on the left, we've got some tailoring, tailoring bench and some um, storage. This chest here is a random place to just dump stuff when I come back, you know, come back from um, just out farming, just dump everything in to sort it out. We've got a, like a, a big, big cabinets here for each of them. This is something I unlocked at level 30 or 25. Um, you can store up to 800 weight in these, which is the same as four of those little chests, which is ridiculously a lot. So we got tailoring that side. This side we got um, a cauldron. Um, this thing here is like a it's like a manor repeater. So you've got the uh, this thing here to charge. I mean, this is a repair bench which is supposed to charge from this manor thing, but it's bugged at the moment. Um, I can't actually get it to link. And looking over Steam forums, a lot of people are having the same issue. Um, but the repeater lets you re repeater, so there's nothing else here to use it, but figured while I was building, putting stuff down, would set the repeater in all the way up to, um, you know, through these crafting rooms, just in case something gets put down near it and needs power or mana. Um, so, yeah, so this is the um, the end of the crafting area, so you've got a repair bench on the left, it's like a, a, disinf a, a disinfect, it's like a deconstruct on the left, a couple of forges, a couple of tailoring or workbenches, you know, so basically you can come back, you can throw a bunch of iron on one, gold on another. These two curved engines and these big, big wide windows. These windows are cool. 
I'm also missing these are the other stairs you can do, which is the um the spiral stairs, which is pretty nice. I think hey, let's try some towers. So I should go up to the tower here. A couple of windows, you know, just because some lighting because it does get dark at night. I, like, I prefer these oil lamps over the, the torches. Um got a little standy place here to look out the window. Check out the view out there. Again, on the top, we got a, a view and a doorway to come out onto the roof. Those stairs are going to circle the stairs, which I really do like. So, and out on the roof here, you do have these, um, these like stone, the stone fringe around the top there, which doesn't make it look a bit more castle like. Um, I put another tower over here just to make it look symmetrical. There's not actually anything in here, it's just you come in here, obviously, it's just a little tower here. It's got a couple of windows. And like a walk up to the top, and the technical aspect, you could put a chest up here, and you know, s stick a chest in the second tower. But mainly, I put this here just for aesthetics, just so that from a distance it looks like there's two towers, you know, t two two light towers at the top in each corner. Only that one has stairs going to the bottom now, but they kind of mirror, which is pretty good. Um, the stone roof, I do like the stone roof, the, like the stone slate roof. It's it's pretty nice. Um, this one actually only it still needs like the no, we still got the, the big double pillars inside to get it working. One thing I don't, I'm not a big fan of is this. Whenever you put a corner roof piece up, it sticks this, this like piece of stone in the corner, which over here makes it look really silly because if you look, you got the stone roof piece on there. We got it going down on the first part. You got this stone there, but the bottom part doesn't have it. All right, let's jump into the bottom, into the main living area. Um, so this is obviously the roof of the like, avia. I'm not sure what to do. Maybe we'll kind of extend the. If we get to a point where we get actually more, um, you know, more furniture stuff, you can actually put in the house. Because the living area when we go into is 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 very empty space because there's not really much you can put there. Um, you definitely got room here to kind of expand out over the top of this, you know, this cage area. So let's go into the door. I mean, Gorlock, whose house was over there before, he's moved north. So I can pop in with his door as you come in. It's the top floor. We've got a wardrobe, which is... Um, I've been putting some stuff in this wardrobe that um, potentially I can use later on. So if I get like, some higher level pieces that I can't use yet, I'm dumping them in here. Um, got that, the throne here. Uh, supports for the roof if these take, get taken down. Um, the roof caves in. Also, with the stone, you can actually do circular things. This is something you couldn't do with the wood. You got this circular, have this circular area. So I put stone curved stairs back in, and you got this curving around the top there. Um, the center area there's, also, there's not much here apart from the pools, the health and the mana pools, which they were over and against this back wall before. But I think I put them under under this under this edge here this time. So if I did decide to expand out that way over the top of the the Avery's like the, the mount pens that there would still be um you know there'll be there'll be room to do it without having to re-put those down. And besides it gives you get to put something under these sections. It's not sure what you can put there. Nice high ceiling so you can put some furniture in here when there is some. I mean if when we do get to the point we get a bed I would pull a bed up bed up here somewhere. I mean that'll be where I sleep. Yeah. So come down to the bottom section, um, back to the front door again, and this area over here is just totally open. Absolutely nothing there because all of the crafting benches that were here are down the other end now. So this is now like um, more of a living, like a leisure sort of area, but there's not really much here we can put yet. Um, as far as the leisurely stuff, we've got some deep. We can put some um, more stuff on the wall. Also, we've got some, what's it, the three things we got on, we can put on the wall. we got the, um, there's some antlers there, we got a, a wolf there. What did, did I put it? Got a bear though. Did I put a wolf down somewhere? I didn't put a wolf head down somewhere. I should put a. Oh, there's a wolf head. There's a wolf head. That's the third mount you can get. You can get more as you, as you get higher. Um, there's the trophies. So, and like some decorative a decorative dragon flag at 35, but at 45 you get um, demonic heads. So you can get demon heads. I'm not exactly sure what they are. It doesn't actually sh tell you yet. But um, yeah. But other than that, it's not. I also unlocked a couple of defenses at 25, but I've not actually learnt those. I've not learnt any of the flags or the stone torches yet. The stone torches are just the um, the stone versions of these. Um, you know, these things here. 
they don't look very... I don't know. The second ones might look a bit better, but I, I prefer these lights. Um, maybe the stone torches might be worth getting to put outside, but... Yeah, so as we un unlock more stuff and they add more content for buildings and stuff, I will be... We'll flesh this out area out a bit better. But um, the next building type is at level 40, which is ornate. Um, ornate at level 40. Which is look based on the description. This looks like um heavily reinforced ornate walls and buildings. Looking at the the images, it makes me look at like the floors look like they could be like marble type floors. Um, yeah. So thank you for coming to take another look at the work in progress house build number two. It's definitely grown a bit. It looks nice from inside, but I'm not I'm not too sold on this stone floor. I mean, if you can see all the tiles are all all um uneven and stuff, that's really bad building work. If you, know, if you get what I'm saying. But um, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching. If you want to um, see some more, don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit a like. Uh, drop a comment if you um, enjoy the content. Or some specifically you may want like to see. And um, I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.